Hey guys, Omni here. Netflix just released an official teaser trailer for their live action Adam's Family series Wednesday. It's helmed by Tim Burton and stars Jenna Ortega in the classic iconic role of Wednesday Adams as she attends Nevermore Academy in her high school years as a little bit of a coming of age horror comedy, as you could imagine. Um, I've been really looking forward to this one. I don't know if I'm going to cover it on the channel, but it's definitely something I want to personally check out at least because uh, I've always been a huge fan of the Adams Family, is particularly the the live action adaptations, mainly the original sitcom. I, I was always a huge fan of that growing up. I watched it any chance I could get. The movies themselves were a lot of fun. I haven't seen the more the more recent animated ones. I haven't seen those. Uh, I I uh I, I I enjoy this world and like a pairing with Tim Burton, it just only seems natural and it's surprising to me that he's uh never really helmed anything live action like this before. And I know I think that originally he had been approached for it for the uh, previous films, but I think I can't remember the exact story. But there was like a reason he was trying to stay away from him. So I don't know. But we got Gwendolyn Christie in here. We got Christina Ricci coming in as well. So that's a nice little surprise. I'm excited to see what they do with this. I'm very curious. Jenna Ortega is just leaping up the ladder when it comes to being a young horror icon and she's killing it every step of the way. Like I, I, I really see like she has an affinity for these horror films between X scream and I think a few others that she's got lined up as well. Now this, uh, she's going to be a, she, who knows might be our next scream queen. She can, she already got a pretty damn good belt. So I'm curious to see how this whole thing pans out. So I don't know if I'm going to cover it on the channel, but I will probably watch this for myself. So I don't know. It just it'll come down to hype levels, demand, and see how it will if if it's worth putting the time into in the long run. Because again, it is Netflix. They don't always hit the mark, especially when it comes to live action adaptations of other properties. But we'll see how it goes, guys. But with that all said, let's hop into this teaser. Here we go. Miss Adams, you certainly had a very interesting educational journey. <laughs> Eight schools in five years. Hey, freak. This is a close practice. <laughs> the only person who gets to torture my brother is me. <laughs> Are this piranhas? Yes, they are. Yo. I did the world a favor. People like Dalton shouldn't be allowed to procreate. Oh, oh my God. Expelled was just a bonus. Expelled? Prison? No. <laughs> you or you love never more. Yo. Why wasn't she enrolled there to begin with? Finally, you will Yo. Be to understand you. Maybe you'll even make some friends. Want to take a stab at being social? Goth. I do like Hogwarts. <laughs> Yo, thing Not looks good. I'd be stepping into a nightmare. Full of mystery, mayhem, ooh, and murder. Ooh. Yo, the visuals. I'm love it here. God. Yes, give me that snap. Dude, that that doesn't look half bad. I love the the aesthetic, the 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 art direction for the whole thing, particularly when they get to Nevermore. Like it doesn't look like I'm not even gonna like pretend that the comparison is going to be made, but it definitely did give off like a gothic Hogwarts vibe <laughs> to it. Oh, do you have a goth black heart and want to go to a school of other people like you? Here you go. <laughs> Oh, the whole aesthetic once they got there was just like uh, classic Adams Family vibes, man. Like all across the board. Um, 
seeing the whole family pop up. I don't think we saw Pugsley in the the trailer though. I've seen him in the uh, in some of the production art or not production art, the production photos that have come out. Um, and then I I just love the stark contrast between. And I love it because like it was probably way more when the Adams family came out. It was probably way more jarring when things were a little more prim, proper, vanilla when the Adams Family comics originated, when the live action sitcom was like at its peak and prime, you know, up until, you know, I mean, growing up, man, seeing somebody walk through the halls like Wednesday was commonplace. Hell, in my middle school and high school years, the only color I knew in my wardrobe was black. <laughs> I knew plenty of people like this. Like, it's just, it's kind of funny that in this world, they still kind of play it up like that when that wouldn't even, like, nobody would even, like, glimpse or, like, pay any mind to it. Like, it would just be accepted. You might still get bullied or picked on or whatever, but it's not like this, what are they doing? How could they only wear black? And then, then that girl drops a bunch of piranhas in your, uh, swim team uh <laughs> pool and gets a <laughs> castrates one of your uh star performers players whatever swimmers athletes that's the word <laughs> so the official premise here is the series will be a coming of age supernatural mystery comedy focusing on wednesday adams and her years at high school at nevermore academy where she attempts to master her psychic powers and stop a monstrous killing spree of town citizens and solve the supernatural mystery that affected her family 25 years ago, all while navigating her new relationships. Sounds wicked, man. I can, I can dig it. I can dig it. Who all do we have in here? Of course, we got Jenna in the main role. Uh, we got Catherine Zeta-Jones. We saw her. Um, Louise Guzman. That's Morticia and Gomez right there. We saw them here. Gwendolyn Christie, Christina Ricci, and more. Um, I want to know who the Moor is. I could look up the IMDb, but unfortunately, I don't have that much time. Um, so yeah, guys, what did you think? What do you think of this first little tease, this first little taste of Wednesday? Let me know your thoughts down below. We'll carry on the conversation after the video. Feel free to join us in our Discord. We could talk about it there as well. Links to that in all my social description box below. Follow me in each and every one of those. Before we go, I want to shout out our channel legends. Manny Share, Ryan Karen, Jason Coleman, Philly Vane, Yori Corey Scott, Margaret Grace, Mary Bradley, Melita, Robert Onguiano, and Raven McCann. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. But that's it for this video, guys, and I'll see you all in the next one. Take care, everybody.